Bonjour, my soccer universe, for the third installment of the League uh, Jersey Review. This time I'm shooting in the early morning, but since the weather is out there, still darkish in here. Um, in this video, unfortunately, I don't have any jersey, but I do have something. Rennes is the top team, and I have a Rennes scarf that I bought at the stadium in 2000, right there. I remember driving by, ah, there's a stadium, we need to stop, we need to stop. Got this one. Now, back then, I was a student, didn't have that many means and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I went only for scarves. I wish I would have gotten a jersey back then, but yeah. So, I'm going to wear this scarf with the nice Breton bread pattern here. That's why I actually bought it. Throughout this video, yes, it will obscure a little bit this shirt, but so be it. How do I do it inside? If you've seen the previous ones, uh, you know already I took the abandoned standings, went one, th one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and every team with a three is now in this video, and then I sorted them alphabetically, and that's why we start with Angers. Actually, Rennes will be the last team. Angers, um, I have to say, perfect. <laughs> this is the this is what Kappa should do with a strap jersey. I really love it and even the gold accents in there. This is a really fine, fine um, black and white jersey. And yes, I'm inclined to like black and white jerseys. So uh, right off the bat, there's really nothing I can complain. Um, especially the way it is here. I would assume there will be a few more sponsors on there, but if it is like that, this is uh, yeah, bothering the 10, but I, I still would give it nine stars because a little bit, little, too little black here on the sides. Other than that, uh, a really, really fine jersey. Of course, you can uh, cl clutter it up with uh, sponsors and then the rating would go down. Um, then the second jersey, I think it's rather interesting. I don't know what this pattern here on the side is supposed to sim symbolize. I hope there's some local connection, but I have to say it doesn't really bug, uh, bug me that much. I think it is uh, really nicely done and uh, looks well within the context of the, of the jersey. You still have the black and the white. The sponsor is a little bit uh, too much, let's be honest. But other than that, it's a really nice jersey. Because of the sponsor, I have to drop it down to um, eight. I actually like that they do something different here with the sleeves. It's the third jersey where a little bit you lose me. This is now the same pattern, it's now all over. Um, the sponsor can actually fit in here, so that's fine. I'm just not sure about the color here. I don't know much about Angers, but I'm sure the turquoise is not one of their preferred colors. Uh, it's just an inkling that I have. Uh, so it is, it screams again of taking a jersey, um, taking a jersey in an off color, slapping on a monochromatic crest and hoping that something good will come out of it. And to be honest, doesn't really work for me. So for that reason, I would give this only um, five stars to put, uh, take that one. Then Brest um, uses my favorite new Adidas template, uh, which already puts this down a little bit. The one thing that they do maybe is smart, I mean, there's a ton of sponsors on there. One, not counting the Adidas logo, there are one, two, three, four, five sponsors on there. I'm putting the crest at the center, evens it a little bit out, but it's still a lot <laughs> to take in. Uh, this is prime French league jersey to me. Uh, it cannot get much uh, weird uh, than this one. But uh, on the other side, I think it overall looks the part. No sponsor is intrusive. There's not a weird color ball on on or there for that reason, five stars. Uh, there are a lot of sponsors also on the alternate jerseys, but what makes it better, and this was already last year the case, is that the sponsor has this huge castle on there, which looks so much better. Now, uh, sure that Malo is not, uh, this is probably referring to Saint Malo, which is a little bit further to the east, 
but it looks so much better with this castle. There is something to look at. There's a sponsor that actually enhances the jersey. Yes, we have a little bit too much here. Also, yeah, not necessarily pressed colors, but uh, dark blue with the gold, that's a fine Real Madrid-like com 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 combination. But you know, then you discolor the crest. I still think this this one I like better than the home home jersey. I also like the template a lot better, so for that one, Call me crazy. This is seven stars. I really, really like this one. Um, and then the away jersey. And now again, a slightly different template because you have now the V-neck. But again, you have the castle on there. And this looks very much like breast. Uh, full colored crest. I like this. I really do. I really do. Yes, I could do without the uh, stuff here. But this looks actually much, much better. I also give this seven stars. The home jersey. I think if the home jersey had the castle on there, uh, then do some uh, other stuff. I actually would like that a whole lot better. Let's move to the promoted team uh, loss. Um, where Macron is delivering, you know, it is red and yellow stripes, but I don't like that the red is so prominent and there's a little yellow stripe on there. And then the all yellow back make, gives it a whole different feel front and back. So I'm not so uh, sold on that one. The one thing I have to say though, in league play, this is worn with black pants with a McDonald's logo on it. I, I couldn't be more perfect. I think this is where McDonald's found finally their sponsor. I would actually like this instead of Auchan, that it would be McDonald's on the front. Uh, talk about perfect um, synergy between clubs colors and sponsors colors. Um, the jersey itself leaves me a little bit cold. I actually like my last jersey a little bit, you know, decent striping, not this uh, boom uh, that we see here. This is kind of brute force stri striping. I actually, I don't like it. So four stars only. Uh, the away jersey is black, honestly, <laughs> not so sold on that. I actually like how the crest pops on it, but a white green, I think here you really cool, could have gone, uh, put a red and a yellow a little bit in. I think it would look a lot, whole lot more Lossian, loss can you say that, than, uh, than the others. And for that reason, I actually, I like it better, uh, but I, it's it's not more than a five-star jersey, to be honest. Um, I do like the third jersey, probably best. Uh, I really like this half and half look with the down center strap. It is within the club's colors. Um, it presents something different. This is really well done. Again, slight bone of contention. Why do we need to break up the sponsor? Uh, the, the, the stripe for the sponsor. But yeah, modern times. Uh, I want to go with this. Let's go seven. Uh, eight seems a little bit too much because there are too many sponsors on there. But I, I, I actually do like this one quite some. Start the Ras has a new crest, which at first I thought, hmm, hmm, hmm. But then if you look at the old one, this was a circle with S and R in here. And I actually like. I really like the way this, this, this is done. You take a kind of a shield, then you have the S and the R blending into each other, then the crown on top. I have to say, this is, uh, is this all, all this kind of, you know, since Juventus made this crest, uh, especially the Li Liga, we have not a similar logo, that goes very simplified. But in this case, I actually really like it. I think this, this is really well done. Uh, the jersey itself, I also. <laughs> Yes, Stad Reims is playing in kind of the Arsenal look, but then you have the problem that you had with some of the Puma Arsenal churches as well. Uh, you don't need to have the top in white. You don't. You just don't. Um, that's kind of what's, bar well, what's bothering me. It's not, uh, and then it looks like this boxed off. I mean, uh, if there was a little bit of an organic feel, I'm not talking Adidas organic, but a little bit more organic. Don't not just. Uh, doesn't jive well. It, it kind of rises a little bit. Uh, you can do better things. It just doesn't look quite right. Does it look bad? No, it's not. It's not that bad. But it 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 just doesn't look the part, in my opinion. And so uh, other than that, it's decent. I think it, it it is good enough for six stars. But um, the shoulder yoke does bug bug me. 
The away jersey, uh, at first I thought, why do we have so much blue in there? I actually would have liked some red, but uh, and then there's this crazy pattern. But that pattern I quickly realized is, of course, the stained glass uh, windows of the Reims Cathedral. And so I actually do like this a lot because of uh, simply because of that. Um, yes, I would have wished that this the, the accents were red. Uh, I think it, the, the jersey wouldn't look that bad if it was red, but it's overall a, a quite a nice jersey. And then with this extra touch to a cultural reference, um, if I wasn't so set on red, I would go higher. But this is an eight star jersey. It really, really looks nice. I'm not so sold on the orange and the black. There, I want to know what this is. Again, the boxed off shoulders, then the chevron. You know, either do the one or the other. Don't do both. And then why those colors? And orange is not that far removed. I mean, it's orange and black, so it's maybe it's... It just screams, take a weird color, slap on the club's crest. This color, it ended up three stars. Don't really like that one, to be honest. Um, and then we are at Rennes, um, again, crafted by culture is striking, and this is another one, like the Marseille one, that I actually like. Uh, this pattern on there, if you go to Britannia, you see a pattern like this uh, very, very, very often. I am not sure if this is now some embroidery or if this is some, um, you know, kind of, um, there, there, there are a lot of old uh, sites. Um, in the Britannia, um, so it might be a reference to that, you know, some patterns. I don't want to say stones, stones, stones because it's, it's uh, younger, uh, but you get the drift. So um, that's, I don't know, it looks a little bit to me like more embroidery, uh, which looks fine. I, I, I actually think it makes for a really, really nice and interesting look. Um, I just found it. Uh, this is actually an ode to a French mosaicist, Isidore Odorico, who lived in Rennes and played actually for the club. So this is kind of the mosaic pattern. I really like this one. <laughs> this is, you know, the crafted from culture thing could can go really bad, Manchester City. But here, you know, there's a, you remember, there's a, there's a nice pattern there. It makes it interesting to look at. Um, but uh, it is subtle enough that it breaks up a plain red jersey. I didn't like Milan's as well, but here I actually do like it because there's just just red and you can let the pattern speak. Uh, that's well done. I'm not gonna give this the highest grade, but I wanna give this nine also because the sponsor is really uh, cool in here. So uh, lots of props to uh, Puma and start Ren for crafting this one. I'm not so sure what the pattern is. I couldn't find any, any, anything on the away jersey. However, I have to say that away jersey works. You have the um, uh, club's crest uh, in full color. Maybe I would wish for a little bit more red on there because uh, that's where the crest looks out of, out of place. Either make the pattern maybe with red or put on the sleeve cuffs uh, a little bit red. I think that would um, do the jer jersey well. Um, but it's interesting but also not quite uh the greatest ever i'm gonna go six uh for this one um and then the last one is it, it is pure puma template but actually i think i i like it again a bit more red less white more red crest monochromatic i think actually here it would fit better the monochromatic crest would have fit on the previous one better than it it, it fits here here i i think it a uh, full color crest would, would have done well so yeah um not crazy about it but i also don't this 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 is like it so i'm also gonna go six stars with that and there you have it part three is in the books let me know which jerseys you liked in this one give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!